Anyways, Detective Pikachu, let's do it. We'll probably watch this like six times. Rhyme city. <laughs> we good? Audio wise? Between humans and Pokemon. Whoa, 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 did you see that? Pokemon. Wait, 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 wait. Do you see this Gengar float, dog? You see this Gengar float? Mmm. Humans. Ugly ass side up. Pokemon. Ugly yeah. ass side up, dog. What the fuck? Damn. Swap OG, thank you for subscribing, dog. Appreciate it. Tim, your dad was a legend. This nigga sounds like a voice I do for an LP. Tim, your dad was a legend. Hold up, hold up. If you are anything like your dad. If you are anything like your dad. I remember. You wanted to be a Pokemon. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This part in the beginning, people miss out on shit. Ah! Excuse me. Excuse me. This part in the beginning, people miss out on shit, though. Whoa. Pyronite, thank you for subscribing, dog. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the blessings in the chat as well. I appreciate it, yo. But look at this. You see all the comfes and the floets? You see the pedalil sign? There's a Victini sign too. Rhyme City. A celebration of the There's a Charmander, a Dodrio, there's a Venonat, I think. No, that's a Buffalon right here. And you see this fucking hench ass braviary dog? You see this hench ass fucking braviary dog? That nigga's so dope. Humans and Pokemon. That nigga's dope. The London Underground logo. Tim, your dad was a legend in this precinct. <laughs> if you were anything like your dad. I'm not. I remember. You wanted to be a poor. <laughs> okay, I got questions. First of all, all these things are dope. <laughs> but who the fuck is in this picture frame? <laughs> Who the fuck is in this picture frame, dog? Who is that? <laughs> why is it? Why is it so HD and bright compared to everything else in the room? <laughs> like I can't be the first person to notice that. Like who is this person? <laughs> you know, I'm just saying his dad must be white, if that's his mom, because she is black as shit. And the bees knees. Thank you so much for your Twitch Prime here, dog. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, I can't be the only one that noticed it, Doug. Dragonite versus Hypno. The Cerulean Arena. Sport Club, Articuno versus Steelix. Was this official art that they used? Or that's some of someone's deviant art, Doug? And I love how they have like, I love how like Rhyme City, the world Detective Pikachu takes in, like, takes place in how it's kind of almost like it's like the Pokemon version of real life if that makes sense because like to me the world of Pokemon doesn't take place in our world it doesn't take place on like planet earth if that makes sense like I can't see myself in a Pokemon world I can't imagine Pokemon in real life so like I feel like if you were to sit there and say hey this is what Pokemon would be like in real life it'd be like this you know, like, there's one Rayquaza. So Rayquaza's like a fucking celebrity, dog. Because there's only one. Because, like, if you look at it in the sense of, like, the actual Pokemon world that we've, we've known so far, Rayquaza, whenever he shows his face, that's, like, the first time in eons that you that human race has seen uh, Rayquaza. Calchad, thank you so much for subscribing, dog. Appreciate it. You know what I mean? Like, when, when Ash first discovered Rayquaza in the Deoxys movie, it was like, oh my god, the ancient Pokemon Rayquaza. But in this, in this world, Articuno is on the fucking poster. Articuno, is it really that legendary if everyone knows it? You know, Rayquaza, you got fucking cut out fat heads. You got Rayquaza fat heads on the wall. So clearly Rayquaza makes plenty of public appearances if they had no how detailed he is to make a fucking fathead out of him. Hey, what, yeah. 
Dog, they're sticking with this fucking photo frame, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that. He sat down. It's still the same picture in the frame. I want to know who's in this bitch. Who is it? Who is it? Yeah. The Sinnoh yeah, Championships. Really. This nigga has a Zekrom Rusharam poster. So, again, like, this world that this, that Rhyme City is in is, like, they clearly know their mons. Cause like again in the in the actual Pokemon world, Zekrom and Reshiram haven't been seen since they created the region or whatever. Work out. Ooh, about to get this nigga's credit card number. Reservation number, Rhyme City Rail. Date of issue, twelve. <laughs> Depart leaving town. Hey, whoa, Pro Neon Runner. Thank you so much for the 2,500 bit cheer, dog. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Basically, like he said, his date of issue, 12. <laughs> it is 12. That's it. That's all you need to know is that it's 12. God damn it, it takes it back. Take me back to this ticket, you little whore. Rhyme City. So, it's, god damn, this rail fare was $400 for this goddamn ticket. It could be art based on tales of old about the Pokemon. Mm. There you go. This is what you, so. This is a four hundred dollar ticket, by the way, that is valid anytime between seven a.m. and eight p.m. You ain't gotta be there. You, you know, no. You just show up. You hop on, dog. He's departing, leaving town, and arriving at Rhyme City. Oh. Okay. All right. Someone there? This nigga picked up a stapler. Whoever you are, I know how to use this. Ah, uh, jeez. Here we go. I know you can't understand me, but put down the stapler or a stapler. First of all, or a Pikachu just me. fucked up this nightstand, though. Uh, Y'all notice that? Here we go. It's clean. And when he's done, there's scratch marks on the dresser. This nigga just fucked up this nigga's dresser. Thank you for the hundred bit cheer, Cow Chad. Don't stress, bro. Understand me, but put down the stapler, or I will electrocute you. So, like, I'm not against Ryan Reynolds being the voice of Detective Pikachu. I guess they kind of made Detective Pikachu to fit Ryan Reynolds' like persona, I guess of sorts. So it's not terrible. But I still would have preferred Danny DeVito, to be honest. I still would have preferred Danny DeVito. But I think Ryan Reynolds would do an amazing job. Did you just talk? Whoa. Did you just understand me? Oh my god! You can understand me! Stop. I've been so lonely! They try to talk to me all the time. All they ah. hear is Pika Pika. Oh, you can hear him, right? All the time, all they hear is Pika Pika. Oh, you can hear him, right? Pika Pika! They try to talk to me all the Alright. So you're all. Please, Amolgas. It looks so creepy. It looks a little creepy, for me being honest with you. It just looks a little bit creepy. The Amolgas kind of just chilling here like this. You got a Dodrio in the middle. Like how, and this is my reaction, by the way. I just want to sit and like point at all the Pokemon and look at them and go, ah. Amolga, Dodrio. Is that a Floet? In the middle there? I don't see shit else. All the time, all they hear is Pika Pika. Bro, that's a Charmander on a walk. Did you see that? Sonic Man, thank you so much for using the Twitch Prime here, dog. Appreciate it. All the time, all they hear is Pika. You see that in the background? That's a Charmander's tail on the walk. Here is Pika Pika. Oh, you can hear him, right? Pika Pika. Pika Pika Pika, he's adorable. You're adorable. They can't understand me, kid. So I want to know what's the explanation behind why they can't understand? It's just the way it is. There's an unknown on this sign here. That's just the way it is. I guess it's like how dogs. Wait, 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 wait! Did you see that? There's an Ivysaur. I mean, I guess it's an Ivysaur because I would guess a Venusaur is much bigger. No one else hear him. It looks like a Venusaur though. Cause like an Ivysaur has like a bulb still, right? That's a whole ass Venusaur sitting right there. 
Why is that nigga so small? I thought Venusaur were gonna be huge, big old boy. But I guess I guess they can come in different sizes. If one thing Pokemon Go taught us, you can have extra large and extra small. That's an extra small Venusaur, Doug. I don't need a Pokemon, period. And what about a world-class detective? Because if you want to find your pops, I'm your best bet. We're gonna do this, you and me. So we got more lulls, Bulbasaur's, a whole gang of Bulbasaur's, this is gang activity, dog, and a Pikachu that's passed out. All right, Jigglypuff. Machamp versus Primate. You see, it has the Poke Dollar symbol on it too. Pokey dollars. Pokey dollars. Audino, you see that? Where's Audino? Whoa, Charizard. Alright, buddy. We got three Greninjas. Squirtle. Pancham. Pikachu. Rufflet. Psyduck. Ugly ass Psyduck, dog. Why does the female companion have to have a Psyduck like Misty? So does that make... Oh, in the street market. Does that make him the Black Ash? The Blash? Magic is called hope. Okay, first of all... Is Reggie Giggs in this movie? Because who the fuck is moving this lamp? And second of all... That's a big ass Psyduck. To keep on her back. Big ass side up. Listen up. We got ways to make you talk. Or mine. Yeah. So tell us what we want to know. Pipe. Yes. Okay. I can. This is a really good scene. I have to say that much. And apparently I saw like a Twitter story that a lot of people are like uh, creeped out and upset with Mr. Mime. And I'm like, the fuck do you think he would look like? Shoving. Pushing. My problem. I think they're just, they're creeped out. Push people away and then hate them for leaving. They're creeped out because he has can such. Shove it. What? I can. Sh <laughs> They're creeped out because he has like flesh, I think. Which makes sense to me. I think it looks like a really good Mr. Mime. Like if Mr. Mime were to be real, like you can tell he has gloves on. You can see the fabric in his gloves. I think it's really good. Shove it. Okay, that's it. No, we're switching roles. I'm bad cop. You're good cop. No, 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 we're not cops. <laughs> In my head, I saw that differently. Whoa, they are looking real frog-like. Duh, this thing looks like a Lego. He looks like he's made of Lego. Damn, that Pikachu is dead. <laughs> Uh, Pikachu is dead boy, I'll tell you that much. And they did a really good job, I like it. He looks really, really, uh... He looks really well made. I mean, I'm gonna be the first to say, I don't think, I didn't think we would ever, in a hundred million bajillion years, get a actual, like, what's the word? Get an actual, like, um, HD realistic. Rewind for Aud Audino is next to Venus. Or okay, let's go peep. I never thought we would get like a realistic Pokemon movie. I just never thought it was gonna happen. Oh, Audino's right here. You know what's crazy? I did see that and I thought it was a little girl in a hoodie. I 100% did. That is an Audino, yeah. I never thought we would get a, a movie like this. It's really weird, I guess, that... You're adorable. They can't understand me, kid. Can no one else hear him? Yeah, see, I thought there was like a little girl in a hoodie from this no side. But yeah, I can see it's an Audino. Um... I don't know, it's just weird. Like, I thought, I just didn't think it would happen. I just didn't think it would happen. But here we are. Uh, I guess I'm happy that they're doing this with a movie like this. I guess this is an easy way to cross over into mainstream media because they can use, like, voices and whatnot. Like, Ryan Reynolds will bring a lot to the movie. Reaper Hulk, thank you so much for using your Twitch Prime. Here, Doc, appreciate it. 
So I think that's why they chose this of all movies to do it. But like, I would love to, uh, that would be the one thing I'd be down for, to have an actual like, Jenny, 2900 bits. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bluefish, thank you for resubscribing as well. Thank you for the bits. Um, but, like, I, I was gonna say, that was one thing I would be down for if they were to go back and revisit Gen 1 and make it like this. That would actually be mega dope. Ayo, and Monty, you're right. That is a Golurk right here. That is a Golurk chilling in the back. That's dope as fuck, dog. So, like, I'd be down if they, if, like, Detective Pikachu did well enough. Because, like, would they ever make another movie like this? Detective Pikachu doesn't have a sequel. Unless they make a Detective Pikachu 2. And for all of you guys watching, no, we did not finish Detective Pikachu on Twitch because that was when my hard drive went out and it's been like six months and I don't have the graphics for it right now, so I can't just do it. I can't, 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 can't. So yeah, Detective Pikachu looks dope. Molly, hi Molly. Molly, have you seen the Detective Pikachu trailer? Have you seen it? It looks amazing. It looks amazing and wonderful. But yeah, I don't know. I have to find a way to port this to YouTube. Maybe we can like clip it together and cut out all the scenes where I actually played things. I wasn't um, recording this actually. There is a Metapod. Uh, we're gonna play it one more time for Molly. People, Molly. City. This looks wonderful and amazing. Of the harmony between humans and Pokemon. Yeah. Woo! Tim, your dad was a legend. In your dad was a legend in this precinct. If you were anything like your dad. I'm not. I'm not. Don't worry. I'm not anything like him. Yo, Stroke Game on Fleet. Thank you for the 500 bit cheer, dog. Appreciate it. Yeah, that didn't really work out. Someone there? Whoever you are, I know how to use this. Oh, jeez. Here we go. I know. You can't understand me. But put huh. down the stapler or I will electrocute you. It'll be fun to actually see this when the movie comes out because Whoa. then you get to see all the Easter eggs. Understand me? Oh my god, you can understand me. Stop. I've been so lonely. They try to talk to me all the time. All they hear is Pika Pika. Uh, you can hear him, right? Pika Pika. Yeah. Pika Pika Pika. He's adorable. Pika Pika Pika. You're adorable. They can't understand me, kid. Can no one else hear him? I don't need a Pokemon. Period. And what about a world class detective? Because if you want to find your pops. I'm your best bet. We're gonna do this, you and me. There's magic that brought us together, and that magic is called hope. Listen up. We got ways to make you talk. Or mine. Yeah. So tell us what we want to know. Pipe. Yes, okay, I can. Shoving. I still love this scene. The problem is that I push people away and then hate them for leaving. He's saying you can shove it. What? I can shove it? Okay, that's it. No, we're switching roles. I'm bad cop. You're good cop. No, 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 we're not cops. In my head, I saw that differently. Only other thing I would say that I noticed just now is Pikachu's cheeks are like it's red fur. I feel like his cheeks should be like actual like skin. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be like red fur on his face. I mean, I guess like dogs have like different patterns of fur and whatnot, but still, I guess I just this entire time like I realized Pikachu is a is a mouse, but I didn't think his cheeks were hairy. I thought since they like conduct electricity and shit, I feel like they should be like little patches of skin that are just red. And he's got hair around them or whatever. I don't know. It's really or weird. Mine. Yeah. So tell us what we want to know. Pipe. Yes. Anyways, I have to take the Pikachu. Does it ruin it? No. It's it's just uh, it's just I, I don't know. Ryan Reynolds. I, it's different for me with this because it's just a voice, you know, as opposed to like Deadpool, you get to see Ryan Reynolds. So it's like different characters, I guess, kind of. Either way. So let me see here. I think I can if I live edit.